Hi everyone, welcome to The Shack. Happy New Year. Um, let's hope this one's a good one. Um, this is an unboxing video, well, of sorts. Um, I have actually already unboxed uh, my new scanner, but um, I sort of put, I, well, actually, most of it I didn't actually use anyway. I just literally put the batteries in it and uh, and the antenna, but um, uh, I've put it all back together again. So uh, if anyone following, watching this video is interested, uh, what you get, um, then this is the video. So um, so those of you that have been subscribers for a while will know that I do occasionally like to um, listen to aircraft band. And I've been using the Upatero MVT7100 for quite a long time. Um, I did used to have an Icom ICR20, I think, which was superb. Um, but I kind of bought that on a whim and tried to use it for DXing on HF. Um, the audio filters were completely unsuitable. I ended up selling it and then kind of wishing I hadn't because having sold it, I kind of got back into um, the aircraft band, uh, living sort of somewhere between the flight path for Bryce Norton and Oxford London Airport. Um, uh, there's a lot of aircrafts coming over West Oxfordshire. Um, and some of you, as I said, who've been subscribers for a while will have seen a lot of videos at Bryce Norton uh, and a lot of videos at home where I'm videoing aircraft uh, and also monitoring the uh, communications from tower approach etc. So having sold the Icom ICR20 I bought this um, not really on a recommendation but I know that a couple of subs have got this scanner and it is a good scanner. Um, the problem I have with this, and although on the box it describes it as user-friendly, um, I find it completely the opposite. Because I don't use it very often, and um, when I come back to it, I, I've literally forgotten how, how to do almost anything on it, um, let alone even attempt programming uh, frequencies to, uh, to sort of scan uh, a kind of memory bank on it. And for quite a while, I've been thinking, I need something a bit simpler. I don't need the wideband. Uh, spec on this. This is like 100 kilohertz to 1.65 gigahertz. Um, what I what I wanted was something just for listening to aircraft. Uh, and so for a while, I've been sort of like, well, I had one eye on the uh, Uniden UBC 125 XLT scanner. Um, basically, I wanted something that you could program easily, and I wasn't even going to attempt it with the Upateru. Maybe I'm just a bit thick, but even with the manual, I just couldn't follow it. Um, so anyway, I now have one of these and it's not wideband, it covers discrete bands. So 25 to 88 megahertz, uh, 108 to 174 megahertz, which incorporates airband, 225 to 512 and 806 to 960 megahertz. So it kind of covers a bit of HF, 10 and 12 meters, but not really much use because it only demodulates uh, FM and AM. Uh, and obviously it also covers um the uh da, 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 two meter band um but again uh it's not really uh why I, why i purchased it um i purchased it simply for airband what well, the beauty of this thing is that the manual is actually pretty good um but i didn't actually even need it i did use it i think to set up the contrast have the backlight on etc um but for programming it I literally figured it out myself. You, 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 you essentially switch this thing on. Um, you, it will, you can run a search rather than the scan. It will scan through programmed sort of memory banks. Um, you can just hit search and it will just start searching through all of the um, bands on, on this rig. And then you can hit hold. And then that then gives you the option to basically save the frequency, modify the frequency, add a tag. Um, you can change the modulation, all that kind of stuff, and then hit enter. You can, uh, you know, and you've basically stored, um, uh, a, you know, a signal frequency on it. Uh, effectively, you've sort of basically programmed it, programmed in the channel. The Upatera is a thousand channels that you can store. Um, this is 500. So far, I've stored about 12. Um, but have done it very, very simply. So it's perfect, really. Um, for me, anyway, just being interested in aircraft, I'm not really into it. It covers like CB, obviously, and marine band and, and what have you, PMR, but I'm not really interested in that. So um, anyway, it's been great. Um, and I just thought I'll do an unboxing video 
uh, just so you guys can see what you get. Uh, I know it's pretty popular. So that's the outside uh, box. This is the inside carton. You get a manual, which as I said, is actually really good. It's pretty clear, um, but the radio is so simple to operate and to program. Uh, I didn't actually need it. Um, this is the radio itself. Quite small compared to the Yupiteru, as you can see. Obviously it doesn't cover as wide a frequency range, etc. but uh, um, it is quite small. Um, rubber duck antenna, obviously, with BNC connector. Now I've already put batteries in it. Um, I've got a couple of alkaline batteries in there. Now, it, there's a little switch behind the batteries you can toggle alkaline versus rechargeable. So you have to make sure that you do that. Don't try and obviously recharge alkaline batteries. So I've toggled the switch over to alkaline. Um, and it's really simple. And here we go. So let me just... Uh, so you can actually just toggle through. I haven't got this. I've got the squelch on. And it will scan. But just for the purposes of this video, let's turn the squelch, down. Let's turn the squelch off. So... You get the idea. So, so far, I've scanned in Bryce Norton Tower, uh, the uh, terminal information, London Control, Kidlington London Terminal Information, Birmingham Approach, uh, more London Control frequencies. Um, you get the idea. And I've done this really quickly. Oh, that's Bryce Norton, uh, 123.725. Can't remember, is that approach? Can't remember. But anyway, very simply, I've programmed all them sort of main free. There are more, um, but uh, that was just scanning for an hour or two. Um, not using this antenna, actually. I was actually using um, uh, a, 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 another antenna. So what do you get in the box? So two Lexel uh, rechargeable batteries um, come included. You can, there's software to talk to this radio. So you get a USB cable. You get a European style and a UK style sort of mains plug. Um, and you get like a lanyard to hang it around your neck. It actually comes with a kind of belt clip thing, which is screwed on, which you can remove. Uh, it came with that because I wouldn't have put that on. Um, and then you get the, uh, that's the actual mains uh, adapter to plug the uh, US cable, USB cable into for charging. So you get quite a few bits and pieces with it. Um, I can't remember how much it cost. I think it was about 150. Um, but uh, as I said, from my point of view, what I was looking for was a scanner that you didn't need a sort of degree in engineering uh, to program it. Although I say that, and I actually sort of, well, I don't have a degree in engineering, but I do have a degree in physics, um, and I couldn't work it out. So, uh, so there you go. So that's what you get in the box. Um, I highly recommend it actually. Um, like I said, my interest is only uh, aircraft, um, and it's so easy to um, to program uh, channels in that it literally just takes a matter of seconds. The longest part actually is um, adding the tag. So this is effectively, you know, so you can, you know, this part, the part of the, the part of the channel, um, what, effectively the label. Um, so the way it works, it, it, it's straightforward, but you, it do, obviously doesn't have a sort of alphanumeric keyboard, so. Bryce Norton on this channel, it literally scrolls across. So you start at one end and then you twiddle uh, this sort of multi knob um, to scroll through uppercase, lowercase letters and numeric uh, and uh, all the numbers and other sort of uh, characters and then scroll across, keep going. Um, but it is, I have to say, it is very, very simple to use. And 
Sensitivity is always going to be a bit limited, particularly indoors with rubber duck, but it does work perfectly well outdoors. Um, indoors, I use um, a sort of multi-band sort of vertical antenna um, that I got from Maplin. Um, and in fact, I'll probably show you that now. So you can... So that there, I've forgotten the model number, but some of you guys would have seen that before. And I currently actually have that attached to my Yesu FRG 8800. Let me just lower this down a little bit. Um, my, I don't know if any of you have this rig, but they, there was an option to include um, a VHF module, which mine has, um, which I always used to forget about. Excuse all the bumpiness, I'm just... Uh, Wind 0 degrees, 16 knots, maximum 26 knots. Visibility kilometers. Light rain. So, 12, two, that's using the Macklin sort of multi pan VHF UHF antenna I've just shown you. 300 feet. 10. Plus 10. So, there you go. Anyway, you get the idea. So, yeah, from my point of view, if you're interested in aircraft and you're looking for a scanner, um, the Uniden uh, UBC 125XLT is really excellent, I've got to say. Um, highly recommend it for anyone that's uh, interested in aircraft or wants to get into that. Um, I'm sure there are better ones on the market, but for 150 quid, if you're like me and you hate reading instruction manuals um, and programming stuff isn't doesn't come natural naturally to you, um, yeah, I found it's brilliant. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, Happy New Year. And I'll talk to you again soon. All the best, 73.